फिर जरूर सो द बैलेंस ऑफ द महादशा इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वेर द महादशा लॉर्ड द मेजर पीरियड पीरियड लॉर्ड एट बर्थ is very important because you have to go through three layers or four layers mahadasha lord at birth then antar dasha or mukti lord then pratyantar dasha lord then sukshma dasha lord that is kind of giving you it's like fingerprint it's a cosmic blueprint that you can actually look and the technique is very simple <clears throat> to actually understand what where and which nakshatras are holding most of my karmas how in this life i have to release those karmas and what nakshatras i will have to work on okay so the first te technique is step number 1 look at what your mahadasha lord is at your birth you can also go deeper drill down and look at your antardasha lord during your birth the pratyantar dasha and sukshma dasha okay but for the time being for explanation your mahadasha lord now where the mahadasha lord is sitting in your chart in your d1 chart you know rashi chart look at that then what did we say you need to drive yourself for the fourth seventh and tenth houses so from your mahadasha lord at birth look at the degrees of that mahadasha lord okay then the fourth house from it exactly the same degrees what nakshatra is operating there that nakshatras you have to look and you have to address those nakshatras seventh nakshatra from that nakshatra also you have to look and address this and tenth because those nakshatras are what you are driving and the fifth house the same degree from that planet mahadasha lord that becomes there where you have got a driver for you somebody is going to drive it that planet is going to drive that nakshatra is going to drive for you because that is why it is called as karma nakshatra the 10th nakshatra from any nakshatra wherever planet generally from the moon from your natal moon the 10th nakshatra from your natal moon is called as karma nakshatra similarly from your mahadasha lord also at your birth the 10th nakshatra is the karma nakshatra of your mahadasha lord so that nakshatra is very important and that nakshatra when moon is transiting you know in the moon uh, monthly cycle through that point that is when you can take up great opportunities and you can do some important spiritual practices sadhanas also important great work can be done when you are going through that point and also the ninth nakshatra uh, sorry the the 19th nakshatra which falls degreeically same in the ninth house the 19th nakshatra is called adhana nakshatra adhana means which is giving you conception newness you know anything that you want to start so from your mahadasha lord i would pick up the the ninth house degreeically what nakshatra is falling when moon is transiting that nakshatra i will start my new job i will start my new thing that i want to complete because is adana is conception it gives you great results when you do that so did you understand what i'm uh, saying yes this is a simple because fourth house from but there is a, in this technique also baba ji there are two different layers you also have to pay attention to one you are not only looking at the nakshatra nakshatra is important but where is the quality of flavor coming it is coming in the house which is sitting very clearly i'm saying which house that you know that uh, planet of the mahadasha is ruling which house it is ruling in your chart and in the natural zodiac also which house it is that flavor will also come from the kala purush kundali that is showing from the kala purush kundali it is showing you this is manifesting in this area of your life 
but in that area of your life also mm-hmm. where in your chart it is sitting also it is trying to show you which area typically it is been pointing to okay so for example as you said like somebody is born in ketu nakshatra for example mm-hmm. so then they say that ketu is co ruled i mean scorpio is co ruled by ketu along with mars mm-hmm. they say so then you mean to say that we need to see the eighth house also for that person's char- in in that person's chart they would definitely look at the eighth house in scorpio also yes and where ketu see first principle first i know it is ketu moon yes. is in ketu. let us say example let us take ashwini nakshatra perfect it is okay so then in the chart i will see where is ketu placed let us say ketu is placed at 15 degrees in virgo in the 6th house 6th house from the natal moon i am talking natal moon in ashwini nakshatra okay so ketu is placed in the 6th house yeah here i have a question when you say that uh, ketu is placed in the 6th is it from the moon or from the ascendant ha huh. see it is placed from the ascendant yeah exactly correct it is placed from the ascendant don't not from the moon yeah from the ascendant say okay let us take an example ascendant is sagittarius okay moon is in in the fifth house in ashwini nakshatra correct and ketu is sitting in the 10th house virgo okay. virgo yes virgo so ketu is the co lord of the 12th house yes so first you write 12th house so 12th house themes all will come definitely okay. will come because scorpio is in the 12th from the lagna that is why the lagna yes. ha from the lagna definitely okay yes then next thing also don't forget it is a natural 8th house scorpio exactly so some themes of the 8th house also will definitely ketu will be playing invariably okay next what you do is you look at the degrees of ketu let us say ketu has is 15 degrees in virgo which is in hasta nakshatra okay in the 10th house in the 10th house hasta nakshatra in the 10th house in virgo now what are the nakshatras i'll have to drive myself and i have to pay attention and i have to do activities and remediations related to that is the fourth from ketu the fourth house is sagittarius yeah. 15 degrees sagittarius yes purva shada shada first pada so purva yes. shada becomes one important then we all, i think you have already done a series of videos with you know santip and aditya ji yes dr holi and dr togi yes so yes. people want to know more about that they can go and refer to that video and see what are those remediations and what they are given there those yeah, you can active here here i have one question because many people will ask this question here hmm. suppose uh, as you said ketu is in 15 degrees but suppose your ascendant starts in you know 25 degrees for example of sign hmm. so then in bhav chart de- depending on which bhav chart calculation you take if ketu is in 15 degrees in the 10th house in virgo it will actually go to the 9th house sometimes so That then yeah so in yeah. that is i think you know it's better to take exactly the degrees and not just blindly see you know which yeah. house is it it doesn't matter okay look at the degrees exactly and do it yeah so because the degree will give you the exact nakshatra like 15 degree from virgo will be 15 degree in sag it's correct. correct so it doesn't matter where the bhava is moved exactly but, okay you know bhava chalit when you are using at least use the right bhava for understanding the bhava and the rashi also rashi lordship you have to use bhava also you have to use so it will bring those themes so purva shada became one then 15 degrees of pisces becomes another corner which is uttara bhadrapada yes then you have when you come here it is ardha nakshatra so with this basic combination i can also sometimes say with this combination when you're activating this i have seen a lot of spiritual energies being manifesting spiritual energies of ketu being manifested here 4 7 10 
seven from it it is showing somewhere it is completion of something it is trying to do of where ketu is sitting because rahu will be there hmm yes rahu will be there no yeah <laughs> so what it is doing it is trying to activate something in the fourth house and rahu is there degreeically yes so something related to fourth house also don't forget it is spices is the natural 12th house yeah yeah it is a karaka for maybe you know going to temples going to you know holy dips or the other way these people are extremely materialistic and lazy so that is where they have to work on that nakshatra uttara badrapada like feeding the cows because cow is one of the animals which is associated because this technique works very brilliantly what you can do simply you know if there is a planet that is okay if there is no planet then look at that animal related to that nakshatra and draw that animal you are activating that nakshatra immediately okay so where seen, you are, your madasha lord is sitting from there you just take the degreeally the fourth seventh and the tenth activate activate it activate can happen some then the fifth from there also becomes important because he is the he is the driver that is god gifted to you he is sitting there so what you have to do you have to keep him happy you don't do any activities which is anti that nakshatra if that nakshatra is into nourishment like pushya nourishment and nurturing then if there is opportunities for you to you know nurture and nourish you should nurture and nourish not block somebody from nurturing and nourish then that means it becomes cross so basically you are blocking your fortune so what is 15 degrees from ketu it is shravana nakshatra in the fifth house from virgo yes in it is shravana nakshatra you are activating shravana nakshatra so what is shravana nakshatra you know three steps <clears throat> and i always say when i am seeing ketu and shravana nakshatra in rhyme like that i would give a indication saying that go to tirupati tirumala go walking on the steps and finish that because you are activating your second house suppose you have problems with money why second from lagna that house is where that activation is right so i am saying if we get some sense there is a lot of problem in my family or i am not able to save my money you know or anything related with food and you know i am not able to digest i am losing weight and whatever you know i am not it's not sustaining then this is the remedy <coughs> did you understand why i am giving that remedy yeah because, because shavan is in the second house and it's fifth from where ketu is and then i won't forget it is capricorn it is a natural 10th house so i will also say with that also take care of where you are working your profession life also has to be you know you must follow all the rules regulations don't go against in your workplace or something because that is also because it is the and knees take care of your knees because 10th house is what knees capricorn is natural 10th house so if you have knee related problems i will say i know because your second house is giving you the problem that's why you're not able to save because there is knee problem first fix your knee problem then you will immediately see your second house really things becoming better yeah and if somebody cannot you know like somebody is old or aged they cannot walk to tirupati then they can at least do this that when they go to any holy place you know they don't wear yeah. chappals you know they can walk bare yeah. that is also one thing or if they are going to a temple they can do three pradakshinas yeah exactly three time vaman dev in that three oh, yeah like three times that's it so three pradakshinas you do simple ways of activating your things and making your life because that is where you know your sanchit karma is sitting remember from ketu the fifth house your sanchit karma so hasta shravana and rohini these are where your sanchit karmas that is why i said what did i say don't forget the 10th nakshatra so in trine that will be the 10th nakshatra 15 degrees of hasta 15 degrees of shravana which is again that is the 10th nakshatra from from hasta 
that is your karma nakshatra i said and the 19th nakshatra is rohini ninth is again another okay that is the 9th house it is going rohini 15 yes. degrees yes that also is activating which is adhana something oh. so when moon is transiting in shravana or all moon nakshatras i would rather say this we can do something very important okay and that will be the driver seat it will manifest in that way okay so it is a easy beautiful technique of trying to go to your archive looking at the nakshatra and doing the duties of that nakshatra understanding even reading about the deity like for shravana is vishnu so read vishnu sahasrana you know we read the glories of vishnu you know read about uh, you know watch uh, you know maybe a series on vishnu if there is a television se- series which is going on vishnu or you know like ramayana because rama avatar is there so anything which is vishnu's thing is there you start activating that in your life similarly rohini rohini is what brahma prajapati so you can you know you can start reading about brahma you know his stories you know listening to that or you know doing agnihotra in the morning agnihotra you know right there is a ritual with a small altar you know yes yes so in the morning whenever you doing om suryaya swaha suryaya idam mama prajapate swaha prajapate idam mama in the sunrise time sunset time you say agni swaha agni idam mama prajapate swaha prajapate idam mama so this is for prajapati you are giving us in you know, salutations to prajapati the supreme creator so but is the technique completely understood because i as i said fourth from any house is the storage of that house so from the 10th the storage of the energy of ketu is going to purvashada from there from purvashada it is then going that energy fourth energy stored energy is going to uttara badarpada from there it is going to ardra so ardra is rudra so try to activate about rudra read about shiva puran or read you know any classical text or read about rudra rudra japa rudra abhishekam all of that connected to that nakshatra connected to the deity of that nakshatra because the deity of the nakshatra has the sukshma sharira sukshma means that the subtle body we are talking about you know the astral body of the nakshatra the causal influence is coming from the deity there so we are completely aligning with the cosmic laws just by doing this nothing else it's a very simple thing and i don't think i don't want to complicate it but the interpretation of what is going to what are those things that only somebody who has you know gone through in depth understanding of the nakshatras will be able to decipher ki how is this going to manifest in their life how these nakshatras have been activated at different points in their life so life will rotate here only similarly if you have to look at your prarabdha sixth house from the ketu it means aquarius 15 degree shatavishak will be activated from virgo the sixth house and exactly degree queen 15 degrees it is shatavishak so prarabdha energy is sitting there in shatavishak 100 healers maybe sometimes you know you get ailments with this combination it's very difficult to get a cure then you know you know you get a cure only from a person who has a moon in Ash- ashwini or a ascendant in ashwini the celestial healers can only cure you will go to 100 doctors but you will not get the cure or you will not get the diagnosis with this sort of a condition for this specific thing i'm saying because it is the prarabdha upachaya as well as a dusthana from ketu madasha lord this is the promise of the chart baba ji any questions i think i'm done unless you have anything that you want to clarify or ask or maybe you can tell it in your own summarize so that your viewers because they are tuned to your way of speaking maybe if you want to summarize very quickly or give them a summary i think that is fine yeah the summary is very clear i guess uh, regarding that you said just see where your moon is when you are born the mahadasha lord because the mahadasha will start from there and from there 
you take the degree uh, exact degrees and from there you yes mother Lord, the fifth house and you see the ninth house exact the degrees and then you can go to that video which uh, we had made with uh, Togi ji and Sandeep ji and you can try to activate uh, those two nakshatras and you can also do this for the fourth seventh and tenth from the Mahadasha lot exactly the degrees and you do not have to worry about which house it falls or which house it does right exactly and especially and doing, on the yeah. fifth and the ninth houses from that Mahadasha lot that degree clearly you can do important activities because uh, they will you know carry on your being in this world <laughs> sustenance right. They are very easily, they are easy because you are on a driver's seat. That the Lord of those nakshatras will be helping you in some way or the other. They are the drivers of that nakshatra. Yeah, and do not do anything which is against them. As you said, if fifth from there is Pushya, then do not stop somebody's nourishment, for example. Correct. You know, or you can enhance those qualities because fifth and ninth are the drivers. 4th, 7th, 10th are yourself you have to drive. So somewhere there you will get help, you will get support from the other people to help that driver. Somebody will come and give him, you know, a mango juice. You say, oh, I think you are very tired, you know, driver, please have this. So offering him something, some people will come and give him that. They will help him because I'll tell you one thing. All planets in the cosmos are helping each other. They are very, very, you know, sympathetic about the other person's plight so suppose they are in your chart in a weaker all other planets are trying to help that planet to come up they are not there to say you know no you fall down which means you know you've gone down in his chart all other things are helping it's just like your heart 